in the upcoming general elections of 2026. At first glance, this video of Zambian President Hakienda Hichilema announcing that he won't be running in the next election seems authentic, but it's fake. And these journalists in Johannesburg are learning how to spot the difference with the help from a non-profit called Campaign on Digital Ethics, or CODE. Kavisha Pillay is the founding director of CODE. We're making sure that people are accessing information that is safe and is not going to be harmful, that the technology that we're using is not going to cause further um, harms to our society. Working with CODE on this project is Africa Check, one of the continent's leading independent fact-checking organizations. The staff at Africa Check encourage people to send their suspicious content. They're collaborating with CODE to teach the public how to identify fake social media content. It helps to have not just someone to step in and do some work checking that kind of information, but also to be able to share tips and tricks and techniques for stepping in to stop that spread with anyone. Community activist Manny Sigomani will be on high alert in the days leading to South Africa's May 29th elections, on the lookout for any fake content that might affect his ward. I think we, we're moving into an era where more and more the truth is being distorted. And we kind of need these kind of initiatives to keep people grounded and to keep people responsible. The Independent Electoral Commission of South Africa has announced it will work with Google, Meta and TikTok to help safeguard the integrity of the electoral process. Siri Kasim, VOA News, Johannesburg, South Africa.